what is your income what is your pay slip how do you pay those bills what line of clothes do you wear what brand do you use how many cars do you own if at all you own any what is the rent of your house do you have your own house and what university you have passed out from which organization you are working for and if you are doing some business what is your annual income these are the societal standards that have been set for us that controls our subconscious that trains and teaches our subconscious that we are capable of this we are worth those pay slips we earn we are worth the car that we earn we are worth those certificates that schools colleges and universities gives us but rousseau the natural educationist the philosophist i am a big fan of rousseau because he had promoted that natural school of education being a part of formal educations i have attained that kind of knowledge that is possible when you are a part of that formal education but i admit that i have missed on many many years on getting the training of that natural education that person sitting in a village a child sitting in a village a farmer trains its child and it gives him or her that natural education that training from that supreme consciousness and that earth the roadblocks that we encounter in our life that farmer's child is trained completely with those natural sciences and those natural guardians and that natural training the training of the mother earth his immunity is so power packed that he doesn't battle that kind of disease that we living in city lives we been trained by the disasters by the miscommunications and by the temper issues that we encounter that is a part and parcel and a gift of that city life we live in how and why the druso promote natural school of education and what is natural school of education all about it is that today the nlp coaches and the subconscious the coaches who are working on the law of attraction they are all guiding how to make our mind unlearn and and retrain our rewire and repower our subconscious because the subconscious somewhere down the line have been trained in a certain way they say you cannot fly and we learn that we cannot fly they say that you what this and we tell our minds that we are what this and we never successfully unleash the highest potential of our minds it is the thalamus it is the hypothalamus of our brain that is the main head office of our brain that controls the lower sub units of the brain it It trains the subunits of our brain and tells it to function and react in a particular way, and this is how our reflexes work. Who is guiding and training that hypothalamus region of the brain? It is not working on its own. The working of its own had been more and more natural had we not interfered with its training and let it grow on its own. But our teachers, our ancestors, and the role models that we have, the role models who have nothing to do with spirituality, the ancestors. the age old ancestors when we are connected to those ancestors then we get the spiritual training and we get to know the in depth knowledge of the spiritual science but since we are part of this day to day life we are being controlled and channeled by the social media we are being controlled and we have been monitored by the neighbors by the circle by the society what and how they think of us we perceive ourselves to be that what and how people judge us to be people's judgment control us and manipulate something within us and damages something within us which if not damaged is power packed and it has that potential that we can unleash those capabilities and power of our brain that can make us into a super human being neuroscientific researchers have proven that the balance between the left hand side region and the right hand side region of the minds the left and right hemisphere of the brain a perfect balance between one can make a human an unstoppable and he can become a superhuman being and that is what educationist rousseau also promoted he promoted a non formal means of educational system he promoted a on field educational system he promoted the education of life that a person grows and works that we call internship where we are formal education teachers as pen paper book but the non formal education that in today we have to send the students for internship but where as a farmer his child he gets that internship right from his birth his training of the mind begins and the training of freedom begins he is not a slave to anything any organization or any 
living organism he knows that it is the farm it is the farmer's life that is so much connected to the supreme consciousness he is so much rooted he is free from that ego he is free from the status bias and he is one who with accumulation of wealth is leading a life that is a life full of bliss and fulfillment now if you get a choice that give away those luxurious life and lead the life of a farmer how many of us will be inclined to do that i think very few of us if you choose to live a very successful and highly elevated life then there are two ways to do it live like a farmer by leading a comfortable life attain all the happiness of life and ensure you 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 are controlling that material life and that material life is not controlling you attain that comfort you don't have to give away the luxury or anything but the farmer mentality has to be developed and inculcated and not the mentality of bill gates or alan musk because they are our role models i am not commenting on them they are leading a very successful life but in order to live a blissful life we need to make the farmer mentality our role model because he is the king of his life and we look if we look deep down into ourselves we in spite of not doing any job or business we are a slave to our minds we are not the king of our lives because a farmer is not a slave to his mind but we being the city people being completely consumed by those luxuries by those comfort by those societal standards and more say per se it is the societal pressures that consumes us fully and that slowly deteriorates the capability of our mind which has its natural inhibitions it has its natural talent and capability to attain that fullest life farmer mentality is something which needs to be worked upon dwelled upon and inculcated once you attain that mentality then there is no stopping and in spite of living in a city in spite of attaining and enjoying all the luxurious and manifesting all the greatness of the life that we call the material life the greatness is the luxuries of the material life it is not the real greatness but per se i am addressing it as greatness because we can connect more with it when we say you live a great life then the first thing that comes to us is a luxurious home luxurious vehicles and a luxurious vacation and lifestyle this we can be done with a farmer's mentality then it will enable us to lead a blissful life and we will not have to take that extra effort to grow and work on our minds to make it unlearn whatever you have learned why the nlp coaches the neuro linguistic program coaches why do they work on our minds and say unlearn whatever you have learned means whatever you have learned the society standards there are some problem there is some hurdles it is a roadblock it is putting us into chains of not being able to realize our fullest potentials it is making us judge in every sphere of life and once you tell yourself that you cannot fly you don't have those wings and you have to sit then all our lives we will keep sitting we won't even be able to stand or walk leave alone flying so this is how the societal standards train our mind it strategically trains us so that we get demotivated so that it can make us weak so that we abide by each and every standard that the society has set for us who is society to guide and tells us when it has not given birth to us it has not given us that life and it is not it is not having that power even science doesn't have that power to regulate and to say and to pass a sermon that this is when you are going to be alive and this is going to be a life span science just exposes the design science just explains the design science just tells us how it is all happening but science is not conducting the day to day happenings of our life science has no command on the sun and the sunrise and the sunset it has no command on the natural proceedings and the law of the universe it is the supreme consciousness who has designed it all it is the supreme consciousness who has all the command but we still choose to trust people with our secrets with our weaknesses in order to let them and give them the access to set standards for us to rule upon us and to rule our minds and to train our with train that mind with junk 
garbage which in later in your life when you realize that what a mistake it was and then we think that we have to work on our mind and we have to unlearn why at all learn those kind of nonsense why at all learn those kind of garbage which at the end of the day we have to unlearn in order to empower the mind those garbage those informations are even worse than garbage that weaken your mind information however true or fact it is it is worth your mind only when it has a productive contribution in our lives if it makes us unproductive if it any information it will make us a vegetable it will make our mind a dump yard that information is as good as garbage rather it is worse than garbage because garbage doesn't do any harm to us it is used for recycling but these kind of negative informations these kind of negative messages that we the signals that we give to our mind and the mind further processes it to the subconscious and the subconscious has been pressed with those wrong informations those wrong judgments those criticisms those abuse those verbal abuse and whatever negative thing it can absorb then we send the similar signals to that universe and the universe doesn't work and think like we humans do it has its separate code language it just takes those signals and gives it back and we manifest the likewise things if we have been subjected to poverty and we continuously keep thinking of our poverty we are going to get inclined towards more and more poverty this poverty is an example that holds true and that applies in every sphere of life because why do we attract the wrong kind of things it is the learning and unlearning of the mind the consciously the mind absorbs all the dust and it sends to the subconscious we have to stop taking in wrong informations we have to not we have to not let ourselves getting subjected to the judgment of people because slowly in spite of consciously outsmarting yourself and thinking that no i will not get carried away let the person say i am just sharing to keep an information but i will not allow it to work on us human mind is so tactful that it cheats and slowly it makes a decision and that decision is passes to the subconscious and later you realize that you have become one of those judgments that you have been keeping secretly just a part of information but that information has become you you have become that information because we are not that capable like our ancestors belonging to different religions the buddhist traditions the chinese meditations our yogi rishis the ancestors of hinduism christianity islam all the spiritual monks who are into spiritual practice who are into religious books they have been close to that supreme consciousness because they have had a kind of cut off with the material world and they have been focusing on the books the spiritual books and texts and focusing more on their inward journey rather on being a slave to that material world in order to gain super power and in order to have a strong command on the on that material world we have to stop being a slave of it we have to stop running behind it the moment you stop running behind the material world material world will chase us material world will come to us material world will become your slave and it will beg for your attention because this is the law of the universe whenever you kick something away that things come to you and whenever you run behind something that thing makes us run behind it let's not be slave to our minds slave to any desire slave to any organizations that supreme consciousness has given us life given us that free will to exercise let's take the help of the supreme consciousness and exercise our free will not on the weak people not or to fulfill our desires that are not good for us not to fulfill the slavery of the mind of any organization let's exercise our free will to live a life full of freedom a life full of victory break 41 days of life changing course life changing experience no dependency what the slavery bread